my former quarterback with my beloved Green Bay Packers, Aaron Rodgers, currently of the New York Jets. He has a, a dangerous love-hate relationship with signs. He does. He does. And I'm sick of this shit. I'm sick of him, him using his platform to say fuck shit. While at the same time using cutting edge uh, medical science in this healing process. Furry, what the fuck you talking about? I'm about to tell you. But before I do, excuse me, before I do, Make sure y'all hit that subscribe button. I am your homeboy first. And this is the realest, most entertaining show in all the game. Put it on some again. Hit that subscribe button. Share, share, share. Put all your people on and hit that like button as well. Because ain't nobody else talking about this shit. You can't find this nowhere in big sports media where they talking about this shit the way I'm finna talk about it, okay? But let's look at some, y'all. Uh, uh, as I said... Current Jets quarterback, he's injured towards to his Achilles, Aaron Rodgers. Uh, he was on his boy Pat McAfee's show, ESPN's boy as well. ESPN, they letting a lot of shit ride. He got on that bitch with this anti-vaccine shit again. He called uh, 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 Kansas City Chiefs superstar. Travis Kell said, Mr. Pfizer, because you know he's in these commercials talking about getting your flu shot and your COVID shot and shit. Comes back, doubles down on the shit. See, I was going to let him make it for the first one. Comes back and doubles down on the shit and claim he wants to have a debate with uh, b- between him and his partner going to be Robert F. Kennedy Jr., the nut job that's running for president right now. The motherfucker whose own family thinks he's a nut job. That son of a bitch. He wants that to be his partner. Okay. And he want to face off against Travis Kelsey and Dr. Anthony Fauci. Huh. This man, Dr. Fauci, then caught all this fucking hell, got death threats and all kind of shit. For being the face of vaccination and mask wearing and shit in this country. And you bring up that main thing. He's saying this and questioning the vaccine while simultaneously benefiting from cutting edge science. This shit comes from NFL.com, okay? Check this out. I'm going to read most of this shit to y'all. It says, New York Jets quarterback Aaron Rodgers is targeting an improbable playoff return from his torn Achilles after undergoing an innovative surgery. Innovative. hmm. Innovative surgery on Wednesday in Los Angeles, a procedure designed to accelerate the normal rehabilitation process from such an injury, okay? Sources say renowned orthopedic surgeon, Dr. Neal, and I'm going to fuck up his last name, so I'm not even going to bother with it, and his team performed a procedure to place an internal brace called an Achilles speed bridge on Roger's fully torn left Achilles, which he ruptured just four snaps into that Bills game starting up the year. Okay, y'all remember that? While there are no guarantees, the, the speed bridge protects the repair and opens up the possibility of an earlier return, sources say. It goes on to say this. It's a relatively new process designed to have an athlete fully recovered in as little as four months from what is normally a season-ending injury, per sources informed on the procedure. It also could potentially give Rodgers at least a shot to be ready to return in mid-January, right around the start of the playoffs if the Jets qualify for the postseason, okay? And we see that the Jets have gotten some wins here uh, that have shocked a few people. So if they had him, should they probably be in great shape. I don't know if they're going to make the playoffs, but it looks like he 
was willing to take some risk on some relatively new shit. Hmm. Hold on, it don't stop there. Rogers might also receive platelet-rich plasma injections, similar to what Lakers star Kobe Bryant, long live Bean, who had the same doctor repair his Achilles in 2013. Uh, and you know, Kobe, you know, people talk about being going over to Germany and getting this shit done. Okay. Uh, there are other players in the NFL who have undergone similar procedures, including Russell Wilson last year. Okay. Uh, so you see how this man up here, uh, uh taking advantage of innovative, innovative, and innovative surgery. But sit up here and uses his platform to badmouth an innovative drug that quite possibly is saving millions of people around this bitch. First, why does this matter to you so much? It matters to me because people around me have died from this shit. My wife lost her grandfather behind this shit. My wife's grandfather was well on his way to being 100 years old. That man was getting around this bitch doing whatever the fuck he wanted to do. He drank spring water out in the country. Uh, uh, it was in great shape for a person in 90 plus. My wife said, basically, he was intermittent fasting before it was called that. Whenever he would gain a pound or two, he would just stop eating breakfast, okay? He would drive himself all around every goddamn well. And see, that's what did him in. He was still going to the casino. He was like, fuck a lockdown and fuck a vaccine. He wasn't taking it. And goddamn it, that's what got him. This shit is real, dog. This shit ain't no nothing to play about. Folks that really left here behind this shit. And this man up here steady talking this bullshit, dog. While simultaneously, when I went when he, he when he got hurt, he ain't sat up there and, and go to Joe Rogan. Joe Rogan ain't hook his ass up. He went to somebody with, with, with that knew something about some science. Fuck we talking about, man. The fuck out of here, man. And I'm saying this as a person who is highly uh, uh, skeptical of many things in our country, okay? I'm a fucking historian. I, I, all I do is read. Every fucking day I read. I've been an award-winning history teacher. So I know the game. I know how the fucking government will lie to you. But at the same time, I also know that science has moved us forward. Science has increased our life expectancy. Science has eradicated, eradicated or nearly eradicated some diseases that used to wipe motherfuckers out. But this rich ass four time MVP Hall of Fame quarterback will sit up here and pop this fuck shit, man. But he showed sure getting world class health care right now when his Achilles is fucked up. Man, shut the fuck up. And ESPN, y'all wrong for letting that shit L. See, when McAfee was just doing that shit with his own YouTube channel, that's a different story. But now y'all motherfuckers are in bed with that shit. And y'all just letting it roll. And again, I'm also saying that as somebody who has a son with autism. And I got all these questions about how shots may have affected my son. They keep telling me that, that they didn't do it. Okay? They keep telling me that. But of course, as a father, I keep wondering, well, what the fuck did this? How, how did my baby get this? And I can't get no real no, no real answers on it. But again, at the same time, I can acknowledge the good that uh, vaccines have done in the world. 
and this reckless ass motherfucker just up here. He ain't even looking at it as a nuance shit. See, is uh, see how I'm bringing the nuance in there, the com the complexities of the shit. He just up here making jokes and shit about it. Don't nobody want to see you fucking the you and Travis Kelsey and Fauci and RFK Jr. debate shit about no fucking science. The only scientist in the room would be Fauci. Fuck we talking about. All I needed you to do when, when you were with the Green Bay Packers is get me to another Super Bowl and win that bitch. That's what I needed. That's what the Jets brought you over there for. But I keep seeing more and more evidence why I didn't get over the home. I, I defended him now. I used to defend this motherfucker. Because we didn't really give him, we didn't give him the defenses that Tom Brady had. We didn't, we did not do that. We didn't do that. Tom Brady spent his whole damn career almost with top 10 defense. And Rodgers didn't do that. But at the same time, Aaron Rodgers ain't got none of the damn leadership skills that Tom Brady got. He's still up on this nut job shit. So y'all motherfuckers stop stop platforming that man with that bullshit, ESPN. Supposed to be the worldwide leader in sports. Thought y'all wanted to keep everything in sports. That's, that's why y'all were mad at Jamel Hill and them. They were bringing all this extra shit into it. Y'all letting that motherfucker get on there and pop that shit. Shame on you. Shame on you. And for my people, don't tell me nothing about no goddamn uh, Tuskegee experiment. First of all, I've been to Tuskegee. I've been there. And I've been told from the people there, they do not like when people call that shit the Tuskegee experiment. That's one. Two, the government did not give people syphilis. What they did is not treat people who had syphilis. They did not treat that shit. They just uh, let, let the shit go untreated to see what the fuck was going to happen. Still evil as a motherfucker. That shit's fucking evil. But the government did not give it to them. Okay, so let, let, let's be 100 with some shit. Okay, the government has done some fucked up shit to us. The, the, uh, the, the truth is enough. Okay, the government participated in the murder of Fred Hampton. The government likely participated in the murder of Dr. King. The, the government basically oversaw the murder of Malcolm X. All this shit well documented now. It didn't came out. So we ain't got to make up shit. The, the, the government historically has not fucked with us. Okay? So the truth is real enough. So we, we ain't got to make up no shit. So I understand all that. But in this instance right here, I also see how disproportionately, disproportionately now, our people were dying from this shit. Partly because of the fucked up health situations that we're in in this country due to uh, systemic racial discrimination so that's why this issue hits different for a motherfucker like me you understand so again i say shame on you espn for platforming that bullshit put it on some please subscribe to my daddy's youtube channel because the more subscribers he gets the more attractive he looks to sponsors the more attractive he looks to sponsors the more money he can make and the more money he can make the more money he can spend on me